In this video, I'm going to be doing a more gentle yoga flow, suitable for older adults. So let's begin. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders relax. Close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breaths. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale, you can sign it out. Couple more breaths. Setting your intention for today's class. One more breath. And we're going to slowly open our eyes. Inhale your arms up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right arm up. Bring it across your chest, supported by the other hand. Pull back, shoulder stretch. Taking a few breath here. Relax. Slowly release. Say, Mama, we lengthen. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide out. We'll tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. And relax. Shake it out. The other side, arm up and across. Shoulder stretch. Creating resistance, looking forward, and release. Same arm up, length of first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch, chin up, looking forward. Slowly release, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders like appellants. Elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch in your shoulder blades. Opening up the lung, heart, chest. Helping people with breathing related issues. When you're in the center position, go in a full circle. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Try to bring the elbows in. And then reverse. Slowly release, shake it out. Next stretch. Knee to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Lengthening the side of your neck. Slowly release the other side here to shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Lengthening. Stretch. And we're going to slowly, slowly release. Coming into the next circle, either full circle or half circle. Nice and slow. If there's any clicking sound in your neck, just stay there for a little bit longer. When you're in the same position, go the other way, reverse, full circle or half circle. Know your range of motion. Slowly come back to center. We're going to take an inhale first. Exhale to overlook the right shoulder. Inhale center. Exhale to the left. Inhale center one more time. Exhale to the right. Inhale center. Exhale to the left. Slowly come back to center. Chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. One more, chin up, head back, and chin to chest. Slowly come back to center, inhale, open up, chin up, head back. Exhale to close, we're gonna do it again. Inhale to open, feel the pinch of your blades, opening up the lung, heart, chest. Exhale to close, one more, inhale to open. Exhale to close. Slowly come back to center, forearm stretch, right arm out, palm facing me, fingers facing down, lengthening the forearm. And slowly release and turn it up, fingers facing up. Shake it out, the other side, forearm stretch, lengthening the forearm, palm facing me, fingers facing down. Turn the palm up. 
slowly release, shake it out, doing a few shoulder roll here. Release any tension you may have and reverse. Slowly come back to center to release. Right hand down, left arm up, reach and stretch. Lengthening, looking up, top palm facing down. Slowly go to the other side, walking the hands out as far as you can. Reach and stretch. Slowly release, opposite hand, opposite thigh, the other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine, don't lean back too much. Overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Slowly coming back to center, don't let go of the front hand, inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. And release the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh, the other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. Using your front hand to help you turn a little bit more. With each exhale breath. And slowly come back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent looking up. Slowly release. Hands on knees. Coming into torso turn. Starting out a small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper torso turn. Moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, go the other way, reverse, touching all four corners of your space. Slowly come back to center. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, bow down. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders relax, forehead down. Lengthening, taking a couple of breaths here. One more breath. I'm going to slowly walk my hands back. Coming into a neutral tabletop. Getting ready for cat and cow. Spread all your fingers. Hands underneath the shoulders. Knees slightly behind the hip. Top of the feet on the mat. Neutral spine. Inhale. Draw your belly. Chin up. Look up into your cow. Exhale. Round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight. Looking down into a cat. So we're going to do it a few times at your own pace and your own breath. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Can and cow also help you to relieve back pain. One last one. Slowly come back to center. Sway side to side. Release tension in your wrist. Now we're going to come to a figure eight. So staying the hip down onto the heels. Swing it out. Exaggerate the movement. We go to the top of the mat. Go to the opposite corner. The center of the mat, swing side to side, and we're going to go the other way. Reverse your rotation, exaggerate the movement, swing the hip out. When you're at the top of the mat, go to the opposite corner. And we're going to slowly come back to center to release. Swing side to side. Once again, release tension in your wrist. Coming into arm balance, right arm and left leg up, reach and stretch, right thumb to the sky, back toes down, core strong, looking down, lengthening, for three, two, one, slowly release, repeat on the other side, left arm and right leg up, reach and stretch, if you can only do the arm or the leg, just do one or the other or both, core strong, looking down. And slowly release, swing side to side. 
We're gonna come to thread the needle, inhale the right arm up, exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around your waist. Now beginner, you can stay here. The more advanced student, you can extend the left leg out on your toes or off the ground. Or left hand, grab and hold the left foot. Any variation you like. Both hips are level. Putting more body weight on the right shoulder. One more breath and we're going to slowly release. Using the left hand to push yourself up. Repeat on the other side. Front the needle. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around your waist. Now beginning, you can stay here. If you want to put more body weight on the shoulder, extend the right leg out. On your toes or off the mat or right hand, grab hold the right foot, any variation you like. Both hips are level. Grab a little weight in the head or neck. One more breath and we're going to slowly release using the right hand to push yourself up. Coming into garland pose, squatting. If you need to get up first before you squat back down, go ahead. Toes are pulled out. Work the heels down. Bring your hands to heart center. Using your elbow to push your thigh out. Keeping your neck and spine long. One more breath, I'm going to get ready to come up. Take your time to rise up to standing. And then by your side, shake it up. Coming into a crescent movement. All ten toes facing in front, legs are hip width. Inhale, arms up. Lengthen. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Hips and shoulders are level. Now pushing the hips forward or back. Side bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to the other side. Once again, chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up. Inhale, center one more side. Exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is a crescent moon. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Slowly coming back up, we're going to lengthen the center, exhale to the other side, release the bottom arm, top arm is a crescent moon, side body long. Slowly bring the bottom arm back up, arm down by your side. We'll come to chair pose, inhale arms up, sit in your chair, waist in your heels, you should see your toes, wiggle your toes, shoulder issues, cactus arms are fine, inhale up, exhale down. Slightly tuck the tailbones in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Let's do another five. Four. Three. Strong arm, strong core for two. And one last one this time. I'm going to stay down here. Just be mindful if you have any knee issues here. For another three. Two. One, slowly, slowly rise up, 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 up on your tippy toes, digging the big toe down, lifting the heel as high up as you can, staying up here for five, four, three, two, one, slowly and down by your side, shake it out, and we're going to come to a forward bend, hands on waist for support, inhale fast, exhale hinge, leading with the chest. When your back is parallel to the floor, you can release the hands down. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Hip bones above ankle bones, now sticking the butt out. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Slightly bend the knees if needed, if you have tight hamstrings. Lengthening the spine. Stretching our hamstrings. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. One more breath and we'll get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly come up to standing. Let your blood pressure get used to this. 
Once you come all the way up, back bend to counter, interlace the finger behind, not push down and away from you. Lifting the chin up and head back, not pushing the hips forward. Feel the pinch of your shoulder blades. Opening up the lung, heart, chest. Stimulating thyroid gland. One more breath, I'm gonna slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. We're gonna do a little bit of cardio. So sun salutation A, top of the mat, big toes to touch, align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always, whether you're a new or regular yoga practitioner. We're gonna inhale arms up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back, hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat. Stepping back into a plank. Shifting the weight forward. Wrists underneath the shoulder, toes underneath the heels. Beginners drop to your knees. Tuck your elbow by your side to come down. Inhale, cobra is modification or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, you can fall back on your knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers, middle or index finger facing forward. Feet are two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow, hip width. Lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Align your ears by your inner arms. Eyes are looking at your toes, knees, or belly button. Now we look between the hands. Start walking forward towards the hands. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, come back up to standing. Back bend. And then I'm down by your side. Into a mountain pose. Tall and strong mountains. We're going to do one round of sun salutation B. Inhale your arms up. Sit in your chair. Exhale forward bend. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale hands on mat. Stepping back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Chaturanga is all one breath. Elbows lower than the shoulders. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, to down dog. Take your time, lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Lengthening the spine, stretching our hamstrings. Warrior one on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Pivot the left foot to 45. Square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle. Back leg is straight. Body's in the center. We're gonna bring the other hands back down the mat. Stepping back into a plank. Slowly. Chaturanga is all one breath. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, to down dog. Lifting the hips high, high up, upside down, let a weave, walking the dog out. Warrior one on the left side, so left foot forward towards the left hand. Pivot the right foot to 45. Square the hip to the front, arms up, holding onto your ball. Engage your arms, shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Front knees 90 degree on top of the ankle between second and third toe, back leg is straight. Now we're going to the hands back down the mat. Tuck the right toes and step the left leg back. Come forward to plank, lower down, up double cobra. And then we're going to exhale to down dog. Take your time, lifting the hips high, higher, pushing the mat out, walking the dog out. Shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize impact on the wrist. Now look between the hand, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up to flat back. 
Exhale, forward bend. Inhale to chair. Exhale, down by your side. Coming back to now, mountain pose. So in mountain pose, legs are your width apart. Arms by your side, palm facing forward. You may close your eyes for a moment. Taking a couple of breaths, slowing down the heartbeat. Make a face in, how shoulders up to your use. Make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, Slide it out to release again. In, how shoulders up. Exhale, let it go. One more. In, how shoulders up. Oh, shake it out. Come into Parayama breathing. Bring your hands to heart center. Interlace the fingers. Keep your eyes on the knuckle. Exhale, all the stale air of your lungs. First round of inhale, four deeply, four, five, four, three, two, one. Palms towards the ceiling. Hold your breath here for one count. And then hands in prayer. Start releasing all the stale air of your lungs. Interlace the finger. Second round, deeply deep inhale, four, five, four, three, two, one. Palms towards the ceiling. Hold your breath here for one count. And then hands in prayer. Start releasing all the stale air of your lungs. Interlace the finger as it cross your heart. Last round. Deep, deep inhale. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Palms towards the ceiling. And then hands in prayer. Start releasing all the stale air of your lungs. Arm down by your side. Shake it out. Coming into balancing. My left is your right. We're going to do the knee up first. Heel down first. Spread the toes. Grab the mat. Sing the big toe down. Bring up the other knee. Turn it over to the side of the room. Flex the foot. Look at the opposite side for balance. Working the standing leg and ankle. Tall spine. Core strong. One more breath, and we slowly bring the leg back to the center. If you need to tap down, tap down, hands on waist, extend the leg, flex the foot. Four, three, two, one, kick it out to release. Shake it out the other side. Heel down first, spread the toes, grab the mat, swing the big toe down. Shift the weight to the standing leg, bring up the other knee, flex the foot. Look at the opposite side for balance. Having a strong raised arm as well as flexing the right foot will help you with balancing. One more breath. I'm going to slowly bring the knee back to center. Hands on waist. If you need to tap down, tap down. Extend the leg. Flex the foot. Staying here for three. Two. One, take it out. Two, release, shake it out. Coming into tree pose, right leg. All four corners press down. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Turn the other knee out to the side of the room. Toe down, cap five, half lotus up behind. Anywhere but the knee joint. Bring your hands to half center. Inhale first. Exhale, rise up, grow your tree. Inhale, exhale, open up the branches. Shoulders relax. Taking the heel into the standing leg. Standing leg, pushing the heel back. Engage your arms. Shoulders relax. Eyes looking down or at the horizon. At a focal point that doesn't move. Slowly bring the hands together. To release, shake it up the other side. Rounding the standing leg. Spread your toes, grab the mat. Turn the other knee out to the side of the room. Toe down, cat five, half lotus up behind. Anywhere but the knee joint. Bring your hands to half center. Inhale first. Exhale, rise up, lengthen the spine. Inhale, exhale, open up the branches. Once again, digging the heel into the standing leg. Standing leg, pushing the heel back. Locate your focal point. If you want to challenge yourself, close your eyes or look up at the sky. Feel the energy within you. Tall and strong. And we're going to slowly bring the hands together. Two. Release. Shake it out. Now we're going to come to 
and you go right leg. Inhale, arms up. Right hand and up. Quick, quick, high. Love yourself. Now, beginning, you can stay here. Bring the other leg around. Toe down, floating around the right standing leg. Those who can go into ego arm, go ahead. So, on this side, do modification. Inhale, first. Exhale, sit. Inhale. Exhale, elbows to knee. Release the head down. Squeeze everything into the center line. Staying here for three. Two, one, slowly, slowly coming back up to release. Shake it out the other side. Left leg. Inhale, arms up. Left on the way. Quick, quick, hack. Love yourself. Now you can stay here. You can lock the elbows, grab a little thumb. Lift the elbows up and away from the body. Forming an L shape with the thumb facing your nose. Bring the other leg around. Toe down, floating around the right side. No space between the legs. Inhale first. Exhale, sit. Inhale. Exhale, elbows to knee. Release the head down. Coming into a sleeping eagle. Squeezing everything into the center line. Staying here for three. Two. One. Slowly, slowly coming back up. And then by your side. Shake it out. Now we're gonna come, lie down on your mat, on your stomach, going into a back extension. So take your time. Come lie down. I'm down by your side. Hands by your chest. Top of the feet on the mat. When you press on the top of the feet, kneecaps automatically comes off. Forehead down. Lifting the hand, chest up, hands off, kneecaps up. Looking down to protect your neck. Staying here for five. One more breath. I'm going to slowly, slowly release. Extend your arms forward. Coming into Superman. Forehead down, kneecaps up. Lifting the hand, chest up, arms off, leg and thigh off. Reach into opposite direction. Staying here. Four, five. One more breath. Slowly release. Swing your arm behind your back. Coming into a locust. You can interlace the finger behind. Modification. Arm by your side, not touching your body. Lifting the hand chest up, knuckles towards the heels. Leg and thigh off. Looking down. Staying here for five. One more breath. Slowly and gently release everything down. And we're going to come to crocodile. Arms are in T, shoulder height. Left cheek on your mat. Legs are apart. Bending the right knee. Draw it close to the right elbow. Make yourself flat. As we stretch out the left side of your neck and opening up the right hip. One more breath, I'm going to slowly release, bring everything back to the center. Stack your hands on top of each other, bend both knees. Windshield wiper. You can either have chin down or forehead down. Feel the slight movement in your lower back. So all these poses lying down on your stomach, hopefully will help you to strengthen lower back muscles to support the spine, especially if you have back pain. Now we're going to slowly come back to center to release. Coming into a frog. Left hand grab hold the left ankle. Right arm out. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up. Opposite arm, opposite eye, thigh off. One more breath. I'm going to slowly release everything down. Switch side. Left arm forward. Right hand grab hold the right ankle. Lifting the opposite arm, opposite thigh off. Slowly release everything down. Coming into a seal, legs are apart as far as the mat. Come up on your forearms. 
elbows will face shoulder range. Shoulders relax. Eyes looking forward. Now you can stay here. If you like, you can push yourself up. Now we don't want to tense up the shoulders. Shoulders relax. Eyes looking forward. Staying here for a few breaths. Now if this is too much for you, please go back down on your forearms. More intensive stretch here. One more breath and we're going to slowly and gently release everything down. Coming to crocodile on the other side. Arms are in T. Right cheek on your mat. Legs up. Bending the left knee. Draw close to the left elbow. Make yourself completely flat. As we stretch out the right side of your neck. And opening up the left hip. One more breath here, we're going to slowly, slowly release, bring everything back to the center of the mat. And we're just going to stay here for a bit, wiggle your butt. Once again, loosen up, lower back muscles. And slowly come back to center, we're going to go out into a child pose to counter. Knees apart, big toes to touch. Sing the hip down onto the heels. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders relax, forehead down, chest down. Now if you have a very tight ankle or hip joint, you're not able to come down, it's more important to sing the hip down so you can rest the forehead on stack hands or stack fists. Try to sit back. Opening up the hip joint, ankle joint. Massaging internal organs. Lengthening the spine, calming the mind for a moment, massaging the third eye. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release, pushing yourself back up. And we're going to come to seated. Bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the ankle, sitting up nice and tall. Rocking side to side, finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up the hip joint. Slowly coming back up. Now we're going to do a forward bend. So you can either grab up on the big toe or the entire feet. Inhale the length up. Exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest, head, and neck and spine in one straight line. So we don't want to drop the head. Chin up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, keep hinging forward, leading with the chest. Now you're going to feel a little bit of discomfort in your inner thighs, crotch area. Working with your breath always. Inhale, lengthen, prepare. Exhale, hinge forward. Eyes looking at a point, one to two feet in front of you. And we're gonna slowly come back up. Coming into a turtle, sliding the feet a little few inches in front of you. So this is longer than it is wide. You can have heel together, feet together, or separate a little bit. We're gonna slide the hand underneath to grab a hold of the feet. Inhale first, exhale, head to feet. Now this one we can round the back because we are turtles. More intensive stretch of the lower back. Continue to lengthen the spine. Going to feel discomfort in your inner thighs, outer thighs, crotch area. One more breath and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Sliding the hand back out from underneath. Now we're going to wish you wiper. Bend both knees, hands behind you. Finger facing the same way as your feet. Now don't lean back too much. And we're going to wish your wiper. Dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. And the hips can come off. Now we're going to open up and drop both knees to the right side. But stay down. 
Do you feel a stretch here? Quadricep hip joint. Look at the opposite side. One more breath, and we're going to slowly come back to center. Take an inhale first, exhale, drop both knee to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Now don't lift the hip off, but stay down. You should feel a stretch here, quadricep hip joint. A little bit of discomfort, so listen to your body always. One more breath, and we're going to slowly come back up. Bend both knees, grab your arms around your knees. Make yourself small. Inhale, chin up, head back. Exhale, chin to chest. So do it a few times. Both ways we're stimulating thyroid gland, decompressing the spine. Release tension at the back of your neck. Giving more spaces between vertebrae C2 to C7. And we're going to slowly come back to center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Coming into a wide leg. Feel free to use the length of your mat. So your ankles up on the mat. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest. Place the hand in front of you, bending the elbow. So we're not reaching forward. Now there's going to be a point that you can't go anymore, so you have reached your limits and boundary. We're not doing head to ground. The entire unit has to come down, so keep rolling the hip forward. And if you have tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knees. Once again, working with your breath. Inhale to prepare, lengthen. Exhale to hinge forward. Neck and spine in one straight line. Stretching our hamstrings, lengthening the spine, opening up the hip joint. And we're going to slowly come back up, coming into a side bend. Right finger hooking on to right toes. And if you cannot touch the toes, hold on to any part of the legs or release the hands or you use your yoga strap. Bend the elbows, the other arm up, reach and stretch. Open up the hand, look at the top thumb. After you lengthen, we're going to slowly bring the top arm over. Looking up. Feel the stretch in the left side of the body. Stretching the organs on the left side. Now we're going to place the hand behind your head. Keeping the top elbow up and open. Wrapping the top arm around your waist. Reach for the opposite thigh. Keeping the top shoulder up and open. Slowly, slowly coming back up. And we're going to do a forward bend on this leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn the right leg, shift forward. Holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Now once again, chin is away from the body. Eyes looking at toes, so we don't want to drop the head. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, keep hinging forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Stretching our hamstring, lengthening the spine. One more breath here, we're gonna slowly come up and we're gonna repeat everything on the other side. So we're gonna go back to wide leg. If your wide leg is difficult for you, fold a leg that you're not using. So we're gonna grab a hold of the big toes. If you cannot touch, hold on to any part of the legs or release the hands or you yoga strap. Bending out, there's more room to come down, right arm up. Reach and stretch. Open up the hand. Look at the top thumb. So after we lengthen, we're going to slowly bring the top arm over. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Looking up. Feel the stretch in the right side of your body. Stretching out the organs as well. One more breath. And we're going to place the top hand behind your head. Keeping the top elbow up and open. One more breath here. We're going to wrap the top arm around your waist. Keeping the top shoulder up and open. Looking up. Now we're going to slowly come back up. We're going to do a forward bend on this leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, turn to the left leg. Shift forward. 
holding on to any part of the legs of the toe. If you cannot touch the toes, no problem. Just place a hand on either side. Once again, chin up, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. It's the stomach that needs to come down a little bit more. And if you have tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knee. Always remember to keep your neck and spine in one straight line. We don't want to round or drop the head. One more breath, and we're going to slowly come back up. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times, get the flesh apart out from your butt, sitting up nice and tall, hands by your side. We're going to point and flex the feet a few times. Pumping blood back to your heart, helping your circulation, stretching out ankle joint, hamstrings. Come back to center, lifting the right leg off a little bit, lower down. Left leg off, lower down. We're going to try our best and lift both legs off. So we lean back a little bit. Now you can continue to support yourself or let go. A canoe, strong arm, strong core, work the thighs. One more breath and slowly release, come back, bounce it up. Now we're going to come to a forward bend. So once again, we set ourselves up, get the flesh part out. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, shift forward. Grow longer, holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. And if you cannot touch, hold on to any part of the legs, release the hands or use your yoga strap. Chin up, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Bring the stomach a little bit closer. One more breath, I'm going to slowly come back up. Coming into one leg forward bend, my left is your right, point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up, exhale, hinge forward, grow longer, holding on to any part of the leg for the toe, chin up, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles, hamstring a little bit on the hip joint. We're slowly coming back up. And we're going to bring the bad leg on the outside of the straight leg. Coming into seated the twist. So beginning you can stay here. More advanced student, if you like to bend the bottom leg, go ahead. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Sit up tall. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Wrap it around your waist. Any arm variation. Front arm can be soft side hand. Try your hands. Keep turning. Overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Toes are pointed up to the ceiling. Yes. Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. So spinal twists also help you to relieve back pain. Now we're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist, bending elbows so you have more room to come down and front foot is on the mat. Stretching our lower back, oblique the side of your body. One more breath here, we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times, and repeat. One leg forward then, on the other side. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, grow longer, holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Stomach come down first, chest, head is the mouth. And if you have tight hamstring, feel free to use your yoga strap or slightly bend the knees. Helping you to get into the proper alignment. One more breath, I'm going to slowly, slowly coming back up. Coming into seated twist, so bring the bad leg on the outside of the straight leg. Beginner, you can stay here. If you like, and bend the bottom leg. Both butt stamp, both feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Now, this is opposite. A lot of people do the same arm, same knee. So, I prefer opposite. So, more resistant. 
Stop sign hand, pray your hands. The other hand right behind your spine. Overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Massaging internal organs. Helping you to digest and detox. One more breath, I'm going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, kind of twist. So we go to the side with the front foot. So if you go to the other side, you're going to tell me that it's impossible to come back, which is true. So we go to this side. Bend in elbows. More room to come down. As we stretch our lower back, the oblique, the side of the body. Slowly coming back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce a few times. Come into both pose. Get the flesh cut out. Bend both knees, hands behind the kneecap. When you're ready, lift off. Don't lean back too much. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly release. Come down. Catch your breath. Another round when you're ready. Lift off. Now you can continue to hold on this way, this way. Those who can let go of the hands, go ahead. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And release, come down, catch your breath. One last round when you're ready. Left off. Now you can continue to hold on this way, this way. Let go. Or we can scissor the hands for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, very good. Come down, feel the burn, balance it out. And we're going to slowly transition to come lie down on our back for lying down poses. So take your time to come lie down on your back. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back and down by your side. All lying down poses, we're taking the chin to your chest to protect your neck. So staying here for a few breaths. Let your body get used to lying on its back. And we're going to set ourselves up for the bridge pose. So bend both knees. Knees are two feet apart. Don't open up too much. Walk the heel close to your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. And when you're ready, inhale to lift the hips high up. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the finger, pull the knuckles towards the heels, keeping your hips high, high up. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles to support the spine, especially if you have back pain. Engage your core, quadriceps and your glutes are firm. So in another words, squeeze your stomach in tight, your thighs and your butt are firm. Now coming up on your tippy toes, so lifting the hips even higher up. Weights in your shoulder, very little weight in the head and neck. Chin is almost touching the chest. Continue to squeeze your stomach in tight, your thighs and your butt. Now release the hands from underneath your bridge. Inhale your arms up and over, keeping your hips high, high up. Chin is almost touching the chest, stimulating thyroid gland. And we're going to stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release the arm back down. Release the heel back down. One vertebrae at a time. Release the spine back down. Once you come all the way down, we're going to weigh the shield wiper again. Let it fall wherever it falls. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Open up and drop both knees to the right side. If you are okay, walk the left foot outside the mat, left hand on left ankle, left butt stay down. More intensive stretch, right foot on left thigh, dragging a little bit closer. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat.
One more breath here. We're going to slowly come back to center. Take an inhale first. Exhale, open up. Drop them to the other side. Walking the right foot outside the mat if it's successful. Right butt stay down. Now you can stay here, more intensive stretch, left foot on right thigh, dragging it a little bit closer. And you're going to feel the stretch here, watch your side hip joint, a little bit of discomfort, so do what you can. And slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, pass it a few times, leg left, point the left toes up to the ceiling, slowly work control, lift the right leg up. Using abdominal muscle, don't just swing the leg up and down. Hands behind the right kneecap, point and flex the right foot. Ankle exercise, drawing circle in the sky. Five times one way, five times reverse. Sliding the hand further up the leg, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. How long you feel the stretch is good to go. No need to overstretch to pull a hamstring. And we're going to slowly release the head down, and down by your side, nice and slow. We're going to release the right leg, bounce it a few times. Point the right toes up to the ceiling, slowly lift the left leg up, using abdominal muscles. Hands behind the left knee, cap, point and flex the left toes. Now right toes are also facing the ceiling, so both legs are engaged. Draw a circle in the sky. Five times one way, five times reverse. Strengthening the ankle joint. Sliding the hand forward up the leg, or grab a hold of the big toes, lifting the hand chest up, head to hamstring stretch. Slowly release the head down, and down by your side. With control, we're going to release the left leg back down on the mat. Once you come down, bounce it a few times. Double leg lift. Press firmly on the mat. Slowly lift the legs up to the seat with abdominal muscles. Hands behind the knee, flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart, helping your circulation. Stretching our hamstrings. And we're going to slowly slide the hand forward up the leg or grab a hold of the big toes, lifting the hand chest up. Tailbone automatically comes off. Now, if you cannot touch, no problem, just hold on to any part of the legs or use your yoga strap. Continue to stretch hamstring. Slowly release the head down and down by your side. Nice and slow with control. We're going to release the legs back down on the mat. Arms a few times. Wing releasing on the right side. Grab your arms around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. Massaging all this on the right side as well as ascending colon. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times reverse. Massaging the right hip joint. Slowly coming back to center, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee. Lifting the left leg off the mat. Squeeze. Slowly release the head and the straight leg, and now we come to spinal twist. Right foot on left thigh. Using the left hand. Gently guide your tongue knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm on shoulder height. Shoulders down. Turn and look at the right side of your neck is good. Stretch, strengthen and hold the lower back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong. Especially if you have back pain. One more breath here. We're going to slowly bring the top knee back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Repeat wing releasing on the other side. Grab your arms around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Gently pop it a few times. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. 
massaging organs on the left side as well as descending cone. Left hand on left knee. Using a gentle circular motion, massaging the left hip joint. Five times one way and five times reverse. Slowly come back to center, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, lifting the right leg off the mat. Slowly release the head in a straight leg, and now we come to spinal twist. Left foot on right thigh, using the right hand gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Left arm out, shoulder height, palm facing up, palm facing down, doesn't matter. If your leg is good, turn and look at the left side. With every exhale breath, try to bring the top knee a little bit closer to the floor. Stretching our lower back muscles. Creating spaces between L4 and L5. Helping you to relieve back pain. One more breath. We're slow to bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. And both knees, wrap your arms around your knees. Knee to chest. Coming into big circular motion if you like. Covering a bigger area. Massaging lower back and sacrum. Also helping you to relieve back pain. And reverse the rotation. Slowly come back to center. Lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, squeeze. Make yourself into a ball. Massaging internal organs. Those who can grab all of the feet, go ahead. Slowly release the head down. Lift your feet up to the sky. Coming into a happy baby. Bend both knees. Hands on the bottom of your feet. Inner arch, outer arch, or hold onto any part of the legs. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit. Rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, entire back. Opening up hip joint. Slowly come back to center. Open up your legs in a big V. Grab a hold of the big toes or any part of the legs. Continue to rock side to side, stretching out in the thighs, and if you have room at home, you can touch down the floor, slowly curl back to center, bring your legs together, solve your feet together, wrap your hands around your feet. You can Grab a hold of it on the inside or loop it through your hands. Whatever is comfortable for you. A little bit of discomfort. As we stretch our inner thighs, outer thighs, porch area, hip joint. Reclining the pose. Slowly release. Strain out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Bring the sole of your feet together, let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. Arm down by your side, palm facing down. Change your chest. Release the spine down, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. Hip opening. Like gravity does its job. To open up the hip joint. Slowing down the heartbeat. Getting ready for final relaxation. I'll be guiding you to Shavasana so you can have your legs apart. As wide as the mat. Let the feet fall naturally. I'm down by your side, six to eight inches away from the body. Turning the palm up to face the ceiling. Have a slight curve in your fingertips like you're squeezing tofu. Let your ankle fall out. Change your chest. 
close your eyes, soften your face, relax the jaws, separate your teeth, lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Scan your body and see if there's anywhere that's still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Try not to think about anything. Focus on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Empty your mind. Relax. Let go. You slowly wake up by wiggling your fingers and your toes, rotating your ankles and your wrists, gently turning your neck left and right. Bring your legs together, point your toes, inhale your arms up and over, fingernails on the floor. Full body stretch. Exhale, arm down by your side. One more time. Inhale your arms up above the head, point your toes, elongate the body, rib cage rising. Exhale, arm down by your side. And we're going to bend both knees, roll over the one side, making a pillow of the tricep. Top arm can be on the floor. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up, coming into a comfortable seated position. We're going to bring the hands to heart center, taking our three final closing breath here. Inhale to bring the arms forward. Exhale to open up nice and slow, gathering energy from each other. Inhale your arms up, bow the head. Exhale down, sending the energy back to you. Again, inhale arms forward. Exhale open. Inhale the arms up. Exhale down. One last one, inhale your arms forward. Exhale to open, feel the tingling and warm in your palms. Inhale the arms up. Exhale down. To close the practice, we'll bring the thumb to your third eye or in front of your heart. Thank you for sharing positive energy with me and letting me guide you through this practice. Thank you for watching. Namaste.